But we won't do it. Are you listening to me? Tell me, Jesus. I believe people tell me, you know, almost, almost we never finish it. Almost is never enough. The man told a group of talk Paul, you almost persuaded me to be a Christian. Give God to me, man. I want almost nothing. I don't want to almost do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to almost cut. I don't want to almost house. I don't want to almost heal it. Come on, somebody. I don't want to almost wife. I don't want to almost husband. He really good. So the way are you listening to me? Help the Lord Jesus. He said, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. What I do? Forgiving those things which are behind. In reaching forth unto those things, which where are they? Where are they? They're before you. Listen to me, man. I'm reaching for them, my God. I'm, I'm forgetting. If what you would do, anything that happened to you in your past, won't you just use it as a stepping stone to step a little bit higher instead of talking about, well, I ain't never want nothing. And did nobody else succeed? I ain't interested in nobody else. I'm going to use that step to step a little bit higher. Just like I take the, I know what I know on the test. I don't care if it's a hundred hours long. Amen. I'm not gonna sit there. My God, I know the lecture school, them guy, one guy now, he was good. He's gonna sit there, he's gonna play play this last time. He probably gonna make pretty close to hundred. But I know what I know. I don't sit there, I don't go over nothing. I look there, I know what I know. I go through that test and I'm gonna answer every question I know right off. I'll never go back and change one. I go back, then I go back and look at the other. And I know fail. Fail one in lecture school, four years, fail one. Make six to eight on. I know. Are you listening to me? Because I'm going to do you, you got to approach it different. Yeah. And even when I worked with General Motors, one of the smartest guys with Western Carter there, he was very good, man. Matter of fact, he was like a, a troubleshoot, like a pitch hitter. He didn't come in when he when he work on a machine, but he could work on that machine all day and he put the lock on it. And my God, I, 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 my, but I followed him. I picked up a few things from him. And I fixed something. And he said, he'll come in. He said, he said, hey, Diva, how you quit? How you fix it? How you get there? And I said, I just got it. He said, you can pretty good on Because you develop your own system the way you get something. So you don't let the thing well, do no bird hold me. Oh, God. Are you listening to me? The supervisor told me when they moved me into that area, I just worked in there just a little bit. He said, let me tell you something. He said, he said that guy's going to go on vacation on the last day when we Friday. That was Monday evening. He came and got me. And he said, now, nah. he said, they, if Packer wanted to train, they train. He said, we ain't got nobody train. You got to run that whole department. Well, I got to tell you right now, I looked at my eyes probably this big in the inside. I said, what? Because it ain't what you think. And a lot of people think they want to be the supervisor. They already complaining, but you put them in the job and they wouldn't last 10 seconds. Because they don't even know all the stuff that so all he do is do this. You don't know what he do. He do more than what you see. Did he any good? Are you listening to me? But I walked out, man, in this company. Okay, I had. I mean, you got all different kind of machines. You got all oh, things. I can't even write. I can't even write all the things that can go wrong on a piece of paper almost. And do you hear me good? Well, after that one week, do you hear me good? When he come back, the plant did not shut down. When he come back, he was asking me questions. Give God some praise in the house. To, to apprehend it, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching 
forth to those things which are before me. What I'm talking about, I'm going to tell you something. Teacher, Sister Kelly teacher, I don't know what grade, what grade you teach? Second grade. If somebody, let me tell you something. When I get to the fifth grade, I use the second grade to step. Right. Hello here. I ain't studying about second grade. I'm too far advanced to hear me good. The second grade students ain't going to be talking to me unless I'm telling them something. Give God some praise. Yeah. They ain't telling me nothing. I'm in the fifth grade, brother. I'm going to work myself up the grace now so my God ain't listening. Yes. Hmm? I ain't like the Baptist. I ain't in the second. He's the second person of the Godhead. One, two, three. Three gods. Come on, give God some praise. Right? How are you going to tell me one God? And then you say he's the second person of the Godhead. So you got a lot of dumb heads. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, Jesus is God. He is. Why do you tell me he's the second person of the Godhead? How you gonna be in the you got what? How you got a head without a body? Oh, you got a body without a head. Huh? Oh, you know, probably listening. Look what I'm talking about here. He's a brother. And listen, he said, look, reaching forth. That means you got to reach out, baby. You got to do something. Do you hear me good? You got to reach out. You got to want to. You see, if it's not the desire in your heart, see, God got to, he put it, and then you got to appreciate him. Then you got to understand your goal and where you're going at. Amen. 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 You see, the reason some people mess up, you know what they mess up? They believe in plan B. Hmm? hmm? But that don't work out for that. That's why they screwed up. Because that's why they never get to where they need to go in. Hmm? Amen. They never go where they, It's just like you said. Man, I need to get up there and, and, and clean that vent then. Well, I know one thing. That vent ain't going to grow no dumb tall. So I need to figure out, get me a ladder. Maybe I got an eight foot ladder. That ain't going to reach it. Or maybe in about six one. And my hand go up. My, but it's really enough. I got to get me a little serious. It's not going to grow. The building is not going to grow. No. The mountain is not going to grow. The mountain, I know it's not going to grow. So, I mean, that's why I look. I said, that thing don't have no brain. So, I mean, I, I know I'm going to deal with it. Yeah. Do you hear me good? Yeah. I know I'm going to deal with it. I know I'm going to deal with it. Yeah. Do you hear me good? Yeah. Like, brother, I was coming down. My truck stopped up that head. First church of living's air conditioning sitting on the back of it. Went out there. My old four wouldn't even say four. I blow the horn. I said, hold on, hold on, I don't care. The horn don't go on down the car. I don't care. I don't get the light don't on. It's in the daytime. I don't care about that. I ain't like it. Well, I, I, let me tell you something. If my lights would go out right now and just say I'm in clocks day on Mississippi, do you hear me good? I'm, I'm a, listen, I'm a, I believe my lights going to be fixed. Do you hear me good? I'm going to come on in anyway because I'm walking by faith. I believe some way, somehow, I'm going to get the back to where I need to go at. Come on, I'm not going to let something that's future bother me right now. Give God some amen. The guy coming, uh, the, the people's coming out of the air conditioning place, they say, hey, you should have got your shovel out. You have a four, five on the road, dead, and fifty uh -uh. repair on day. Oh, come on, quite there messing with me. They say, hey, man, I try to get booze. I'm doing everything. I called Brother Miles, hey, brother, I'll come on in and get this afternoon and put it on the back of your truck. He got everything ready from sliding on the back of that. I called a few people, he couldn't get it. And my God called a couple of candidates. They told me the computer and all this kind of stuff. Like Colin said, we didn't know. He didn't know. Don't say, don't put me in it. You don't know. I know what I'm doing. Do you hear me good? Because if, 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 if we didn't know it, it wouldn't be running. We still wouldn't know. But I'll tell you right now, you if I struggle to shoot something from A, B, C, D, F, ain't nobody going to tell me all the way to F. No more, because I know I took my meter, and I'm troubleshooting, bam, bam, point by point. I know where the source from, I'm telling for. I don't care what happened. I go right to the source, and I'm coming back. From, if I, I ain't checking it, well, this switch is open. If it ain't got no power on it, how can it open? Huh? How can it open? It don't both to open. Uh, it don't supposed to close it and it got because you got open and close. It don't supposed to do this. Do you let me tell you? But anyway, brother all coming out, put on that. The guy came and got the truck. He put it up there. And I've already did some troubleshooting on it. And praise God, I've been thinking about it all the time. Not like you. So, well, I've got to wait on what my truck ain't going. But I already had it. Wait. I already fixed it up there. But that night, praise God, my daughter came and laid in the bed talking to me. And I'm still thinking about it. Let me go out here. I'm going out there. And brother all told the guy, and he said, I guarantee you, Pastor. To have this thing going for the morning, God. 
I said, goodness, and he done said something, man. I'm going to have to crawl up and run that brother. You know, really, you know, he's a, you know, that's a dumb brother all day. He probably, he's not a guarantee. So I go out there at night, my God, messing with it, and take it down with it. I like Brother Wee, you know, tie on the flat and leave it and call the boss man and tell him, hey, if I call my boss man and tell him I tie on the flat, I wish they'd find me. Hmm? Do you hear me good? Because I ain't coming out there. If I got to be at work at 8 o'clock, I ain't coming out there at 8, 10 and talking to myself, well, my tie flat come across me. No, brother. Are you listening to me? If I had to get my box sick and fell I'm going to get there. Come on, somebody. Give God some help. Got out there, kept messing with the truck, messing with it, swapped this little thing. Crack started up. Whew, I was on the on the passenger side, started up from that side, I wouldn't say a word. I took it, I went in there, I, my brother, I went to the starting relay, put the relay out, jumped it out, start and come in. I said, ooh, because I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the, I didn't have a somatica, because somatica, because you know, you got a lot of stuff, you know. And I, ooh, start, I said, mm, I ain't getting no power to my, to my, to my, to my injector, so I know if it starts now, I'm leaving this big pick alone. Do you hear me good? Because we got some big problems. But are you listening? I know that would happen. So I didn't have a whole life to have a meeting on that. Go out there and start relay around. Start up. Whoop, crank it from the parasite. Didn't do nothing else. Shut up. I said, get some sleep. Now when I knock on my daughter's door, I said, hey, baby. She, I said, baby. Wake up, honey. Oh, man. I know she, oh, damn. <laughs> I said, baby, I got the truck she said, I know you would, Dad. Give me a hot five. <laughs> and plus a kiss to go along with it. Come on, give God some money. See, I tell you, how are you going to live in high with just a, just a silhouette of a man? Just let me ask me, ask you this. Why do you want to just, just, just say you're married to somebody? These people don't do nothing for you. You got to buy your own car, change your own oil, get your own tire, do everything. Well, I don't that look. I just soon to have me a teddy bear. Uh, hmm? Thank you, Jesus. I'm wearing your last name for what? <laughs> Hello, here. For what? For what? You treat me like I'm a second class citizen. Abraham treated the slave better than that. Hmm? Hey, guy. Treat up pretty nice, didn't he? Treat up pretty nice, didn't he? Treat up pretty nice, didn't he? Oh, listen to the church. Help me. Help me here. Now, he said, now watch what he said. I press. Yeah. See, it's got to be reaching, man. I remember the deacon that I really patted myself out at, at first church. His name was, was William John. They called him Willie John. Deacon John. And my God, he would always, he played third base, I mean shortstop, when he was in and, and uh, played ball. And he always said, he said he'd reach out, but you got to reach out there. Sometimes you got to get that ball and you play shortstop, that's right next to third base, you know. And praise God, sometimes in third base, you got to reach out real hard to get that ball. And he would always use that in his life. You got to always reach out. You got to stretch and take hurt, man. Amen. You hear me good? This is not a comfortable zone. Amen. It's good, well, I, I front that guy. It's just so much stress over there. I, I am a master of stress. Yeah. Hmm? It might be stress for somebody else, but it ain't going to be for me. Are you listening to me? Yeah. It might be stress for somebody else, but it ain't going to be for me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It might be stress for somebody. somebody oh, girl, I wouldn't have that job, but someone else is stress. I said, give it to me. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm still greater as he that's within me. Yes. See, without faith, you're not going to do it. Without faith, let me tell you, I, if I'm a failure, you know what, I'm going to get back up. That's why I repent. I'm getting back up, dust myself off in the name of Jesus, and I'm going out it again. Give God some praise. I'm going out it again. I, listen, I go to people house and work, man, and hugs on the side of the pee picking the thing. He'll tear their car up. He tear heels it up, then he tear their car up. Now ain't nobody got no right. Huh? I've had people, my God, that the woman tied their toe up, the man, and the man I take her to work, she ought to pay him. 
I said, what did you say? I'm saying what? I said, fuck. What did you say? Are you crazy? Are you insane? I've been on Jesus. Me and you for the, I'm, I'm, I'm for doing the Wayne Bobby on you. <laughs> Give me some silks. <laughs> No, you're going to be a man and you're going to be a man. You're going to be good. Why are you listening to me? I'm going to do something with you. Why are you listening to me? <laughs> See, see, I love another thing. What we do, you see. Mm -hmm. Oh, in this call, see. What we do, we hang out with people that are just satisfied being what they are. I don't want to be saying, oh, I'm sad. I promise you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and God know I'm telling you the truth. And I came out there in 1971, and I was talking to this guy. I don't know, somebody, who was that? Went down to this house with me, down there. For a while. I don't know if somebody went down there with me. Oh, I think that was this little boy. We went down the country. You know what I mean? We went down the country and working on that stuff. And there's a house right by that house. Uh, in other words, there's another house over there. The brother of another boy named Bill uh, lived down there. Hunt, Oscar Hunt brother, and uh, and so I, I I met him up here. We was up here somewhere by Lane Hardware, which they made this big store now that you know you can buy the cheap suits and stuff. And then, you know what I'm talking about, right there on 80 and 18 or Robinson, right there. Mm -hmm. And but it used to be like So I went out talking to him, and he worked for Borders of uh, Ice Cream down there. It used to be up there by by uh, undrawn. Unstrung uh, tile when he put the tile. He used to be in that area somewhere in that area. And he said, he told me that he was satisfied with what he made. Wow. God be my witness, I wasn't a 21, I almost left it. <laughs> he, he was satisfied making $2. I said, bro, they paid me $102 that way. Right. I want more money. Bob, do you hear me? You can't pay me enough to make me satisfied. Amen. Do you hear me? You know 